Ladies and gentlemen, it is dark as you know what out here where I'm currently at for my travel assignment. Um, yeah, it's, it's country in the mud. That's like the entrance. You got a van over there and some trees. And over there is a bunch of trailers that you can't really see because it's dark. <sighs> this is my second week. And it's my second week. And I'm only on a four week assignment, so. But we're going to talk about if traveling is still worth it for an LPN in 2023. Let's do it. Pretty small place. I like that. What's good, everybody? It's your man CJ, aka the High Value Nurse, checking in once again back with another video. Currently on my travel assignment, and I got a I got a break right now. I'm on lunch, and I just wanted to talk to y'all, give y'all an update of what's going on. Um, I'm not gonna say where I am. But, well, I'll tell you, mm, I'm still within my state. And I know some of y'all have asked me, and I even did a video about how I wasn't going to take any more traveling assignments because it wasn't worth it. But look at me now. You never say never in nursing. And it's only a four-week contract. And a lot of y'all want to know if it's still worth it. I think it depends. It really does depend. This was a very unique, unusual situation because usually with these kind of with travel contracts, they don't give out four week contracts. I've, I have not seen it. And again, I, this is travel, but I still consider it local travel, if that makes sense. Yes, it's more than 100 miles from my house. And I think to be considered travel, it needs to be 50 but it's way more than 100 miles from my house. Um, and the drive is two hours. Um, is it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. The pay is cool. Um, something that I can, you know, it was nice for three days a week. And <clears throat> it's a cool gig. It's, it's you know, a skilled long-term care um, and some rehab. But one thing I'm starting to notice is that even within these rehab places, you know, especially the further I go out into the country, I'm starting to notice that a lot of these places, residents are getting younger and younger and younger. The days of the nursing home, the days of skilled nursing facilities just being stereotyped by having a bunch of old people just rolling around in wheelchairs and all that kind of stuff, those days are gone. And as far as I know, they even have nursing homes for young children, which I didn't know. Uh, I was reading, well, I wasn't reading the article, but I kind of came across this article from Florida, and they have nursing homes for young children, and I had no clue that that even existed. So that's an interesting thing within itself, and I guess it just goes to show you to where we are headed as a society as far as health is concerned, because a lot of these people um, a lot of these people are recovering drug addicts, alcoholics, recovering alcoholics. Um, some people are just getting out of the penitentiary and they have nowhere to put these people. And the best option for a lot of these people in these places are to come to the skilled nursing facility, also known as the nursing home. Now this place is not bad. Uh, it's pretty easy, nothing out of the ordinary. But, you know, we have some younger residents here, and I was actually quite surprised of how many younger residents that we have, because this is probably the first time to where I've seen residents be that young and be in the facility. So I just thought that was a, an interesting factor. But is it still worth it in 2023? Again, like I said, it just depends on your scenario. I would not sign no 13-week 
contract if it really didn't benefit uh, me, if it didn't meet a certain number. Like, <sighs> they be they are trying to lowball LPNs, especially with the travel pay. Um, but I'm hearing that, a, that another wave might be hitting, so you never know. Be on standby. But if, if it do happen, which, I, you know, I don't want that to happen, to be honest. I don't want another 2020 to occur because that was a that was a horrible thing. And I would hate to have to go back, we, you know, starting to get back to normal and all that kind of stuff. So I would just hate for something like that to happen. But again, I mean, don't get me wrong. There was a lot of people who became millionaires during that era. A lot of nurses got a bag. But, you know, a lot of people lost their life. So they will have to talk good numbers for LPNs because it just don't make sense to be out here and humping and stuff like that for pennies just to say you've been a travel nurse. That's crazy. We're not going to do that. For me to leave my state for 13 weeks, I don't even know if I would even want to do it for that long, to be honest. Probably the most I would take at this point if I really wanted to get back out there in the travel nurse game for me to be locked down for another eight weeks, I would have to at least be getting 28, 28 a week for three days at the very least. And I'm talking like that's the least. And I really ain't trying to go that far from home. The, the farthest I'll probably go is within a four hour radius from my house. So 28, you know, really three, but 28, you know, I, I'll work with you. You know what I'm saying? So. And that's for me to be locked down for eight weeks. And I still need my days off once a month. So, <laughs> but this is cool because I only got two weeks left within this contract. But I got to be out here tomorrow and the next day. Um, and then six days after that, I'll do one more day. And then I only have a week left within a contract. So I can dig it. I'm probably not going to renew because I'm starting another job where, um, you know, I'm, I'm part-time, but I'm getting benefits, and I'm grinding, and they're going to let me grind, they're going to let me cook, and do the things that I need to do to get done, to have that base set up for myself, um, and my lady, you know, just so we good, you dig what I'm saying, so, right now, it's all about having that foundation, having that foundation, so we don't ever have to worry about being broke, we don't ever have to worry about car repairs. We don't ever have to worry about, you know, oh, we see a vacation we want to go on. Oh, I got to wait till this day to get paid. No, none of that. You know, if you're an LPN, you getting money right now. And if you ain't got that many responsibilities, there's no reason why we can't be stacking, stacking, stacking. Because it ain't nothing else to do, for real, for real. Stack your money, go see the world. Stack your money, go live out your dreams. You dig what I'm saying? No less... You know, I, I, I say minimum 10, 10K, you know what I'm saying? That goes for all of y'all. But I really, I'm talking 25, 30. The rest of that, you stack. I don't care what nobody else say. That's just my thing. You dig what I'm saying? So, anyway, everything is cool so far. I just want to give y'all kind of like a vlog style update in the travel nurse, and it's still worth it in 2023. Um, if I wasn't starting this new gig that's going to let me cook and that's paying me right, then I probably would. But, you know, since that's starting, I probably won't. But then, you know, the two-hour drive, man, it is no joke. But y'all be keeping me company. So, like, the first hour, I'll be listening to a book or I'll be thinking of some plans or something like that. And then the last hour, I'll chop it up with y'all. But, like, on the ride backs in the morning, I turn y'all on. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll be needing it. Man, y'all be keeping me up, so I appreciate it. But anyway, my name is CJ, a.k.a. The High Value Nurse. Got a lot of stuff coming soon. I need y'all to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're on the road to 4,000. Uh, next after that, we hitting a million. So, uh, yeah, if you don't do nothing else, get paid, young nurse, get paid. Peace. I guess I can kind of give y'all a tour since I don't ever come out here for real, for real, like on a regular basis, so. This is the activity room. I got the pianos popping and everything like that. A little TV popping. Got the big.
picture. Mirror. No. A wheelchair just sitting there. Got the little car light popping off. Oh, let me see what else I can show y'all. This is like the art room. Put some games. Got a lot of books and stuff like that. Um, yeah, got a TV. Little table. Pay for the residents to do their art, so it was nice. It was nice. Have a blessed day. There you go. So we gonna always get the bag. Whether we traveling or we local. But we gonna get the bag. Get paid, young nurse, get paid.